Hello everyone, welcome back to Weaver Industries. I hope you are all healthy and safe during these difficult times fighting the coronavirus. We're doing this video because when we are able to come back to work, there's a new reality to our workplace. We have new procedures with which we need to comply. So we're going to take a walk through one of our ProPAC facilities to explain what now needs to happen in the workplace. We're going to talk a lot about social distancing. Social distancing is remaining at least six feet from another person. It means that the other person, we need to give the other person enough space to get their work and done and keep us all safe. Hi, we're outside a ProPAC facility and if you take a look at the ground in front, you can see these X's. I'm sure you've seen them in other places like Home Depot or Walmart. We also want to maintain social distancing so there's only so much room inside for people to stand. So if you have to stand out here until it's your turn, that's what you'll do. So again, we're going to keep social distancing here with six foot uh, space. And then we're going to come into the facility and I'll show you what we're going to do. All of our facilities are set up with signage on the doors to kind of help our clients and our staff know what to do when they get in. To the facility so generally what we're looking at is for everybody that comes to the door to understand that we're generally going to take one person at a time to come in we also talk a little bit about our social distancing to remind people again six foot is very important for our facilities there's not really a reason for us to have any other individuals come in so we're asking that no visitors come in So now that we've come inside, you can see at different spots we have X's on the floor, again, to maintain the social distancing for all of our uh, staff and clients. So this is a X that's about six feet from the table. So this is where I would wait until I'm ready to go in and have my temperature checked. In the morning, and you're, uh, you haven't had your temperature done, you wait here, and when it's your turn, you walk up to the table. There's two things I'm going to do here. One is I'm going to get my temperature checked and I'm going to fill out our attestation form. The attestation form essentially says that uh, I am uh, either in a safe way based on if I've traveled anywhere or if I've been sick. And so what it does is it allows me to answer the questions and sign off on it. This is something that will need to be done every day when you come into work. You'll get your temperature checked and you'll complete the social attestation form. Now I'm going to have my temperature taken with the uh, thermal scanner thermometer. 97.9. Now I'm going to complete the attestation report. And this report records the, your temperature that we just did. It also uh, deals with four questions. Real briefly, uh, one question has to do with signs or symptoms you may have. Another one has to do with where you've been traveling over the last 14 days, whether it was out of the country. Number, uh, another one has to do with have you ever been exposed to anybody that has had COVID-19. And was, the last one was, was your temperature 100.4 degrees or higher? So we complete these, sign it, and then we're done with that for the day. Uh, I, if I need a mask, if I didn't bring one, I have one here at the table. It'll be at the entrance, so I can get a mask if I need one at that point. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to get a shot of hand sanitizer to get me going. So I'll put that on, and then I'll head over to my locker and get ready for work. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my locker and uh, get what I need. And I, I have... Uh, I have an extra mask, I have whatever, some of my personal belongings I've put in here. And now, um, and I know other will probably come here, I'm trying to, to respect social distancing, so when I'm at my locker, other people are not here. And then when I leave, somebody else can go. Okay, now I'm ready to, uh, getting ready to go to work, and I feel like I want to wash my hands before I go. So. 
I'm here at the restroom door, and this is one where we're only allowing one person at a time. So uh, I have the green sign out here, which means the, rest, the restroom is not occupied. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that shut. And I'm going to put the red one out because I'm going in and I'll be occupying the restroom. So now that I'm here, I have some instructions on how to wash my hands. And again, this is the 20 second rule. So I'm going to get some soap in my hand. And I know that whenever we wash hands, it can't count to 20. Then what we do is we think of happy birthday twice. So I get a little lather going. Okay, so I get at least 20 seconds here. I do a rinse. And then I come over and get a clean towel. And if I was somebody that sometimes forgets to wash my hands, we have a sign here that uh, reminds me that we need to wash our hands. And this is really a mandatory thing. We're going to keep the coronavirus at bay. And I'm, I'm ready now to report for my job and uh, to go to my workstation. And I think one of the things we want to be aware of is you don't want to cross paths too much with everybody. We're trying to maintain social distancing, as we mentioned before. So we've developed a set of one-way signs. Not every facility can use a one-way sign because they're not set up, but this one's pretty nice in as much as if I want to come over here and get some supply, I'm going to walk this way and walk in a sort of a one-way direction. So as we come up here, we see where there's one-way signs all the way around, so it tells me which way I can go as, as I want to maneuver around the facility. So typically we would have maybe product here and so I would come this way and then if I want to go back to my workstation I can't go that way I got to go this way because we're all one way. All right it's break time and we have some protocols here for the break room. One person per table is what what we do here to keep safe and certainly reminding people again to wash their hands before handling or eating food. So as you can see every table has one chair and we're working to keep a six foot minimum distance from each other while we eat. And then when we come over here we're looking at this area of the sink, microwaves, Again, one person at a time here. So we shouldn't have two and three people standing up here by the microwave. Uh, one person using the microwaves. And again, if we're here at the, the vending machines, again, if you're here, somebody else needs to stay away. Once you finish and walk away, then they can come up and use the vending machines. All right, well, my shift is over for the day. So I'm going to uh, get up and get ready to go. I'm going to go to my locker and take care of my business in there, get my coat. And as I go to the door again, I'm going to be very conscious of social distancing and so that I am not getting closer than six feet to anybody. So I'm going to come out here. And I'm going to check and make sure if there was somebody here standing at the door, I would wait till they left to get in their ride and then I would move up and make sure that uh, I'm here. And I'm going to, and I'm not carrying on a conversation or I'm not trying to bring people up. I'm trying to keep my social distancing as I go up. Thank you for watching. For us to remain safe while we work, these protocols will help us and they're so important. And I know that it's going to take some time to make it work. 
Uh, but if we work together, we can keep everybody else safe. We look forward to seeing you at work.